Good morning. This is the Operations <laughs> Committee for the Village of Point Edward for Tuesday, July the 11th, uh, 10 a.m. I'll call the meeting to order. Any pecuniary interests, Mayor Hand? None known. Okay. Prior minute. Prior meeting minutes were circulated to council and approved. Ongoing task list is there. Any questions on the tasks? Outstanding. So in the future, anything that's on this page that's in green will not show up on the next report. Okay. Green means done? Yeah. Oh. Green means go, so go away. And are these all merged? Is this all just operations? No, there's everything. There's council and all the okay. committees. Um, they're grouped together, so all the operations are yeah. together. Is there anything in here you want to highlight for us? or um, The one thing, well, I guess we're covering under new business. I want to talk about the, the netting at okay, Long yeah. Street Park, yep. but that's under new business, so I think we're good. And have, have we... Talk to the county about the um, daycare zoning. Yes, I have to. I have to look back at the email and see what the answer was. Okay. Yeah, I, I did get a response on that. Okay. All right, so we'll receive and file that. Item seven, one is some feedback on the arena. Did you want to talk to that, Jim? Um, I think just there's very positive feedback from the quilters group that was in there at the start of the month at the start of june um very positive things to say about all the guys at the arena and all the great help that they provided there so i thought we should share that yep the public record yes that's wonderful i think derek will talk more about that in his report mm -hmm. uh item eight health and safety there's both the arena and public works reports anything in there mayor hand that no okay I assume everything's been taken care of with that eye wash station and everything. We're good there. Good. Well, everything done with the eye wash station. Okay. Okay. Good. That's right on. It's halfway there. The In arena. Progress. Yep. We'll receive and file those. Arena monthly report, Derek. Yep. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, this is the monthly report for the arena for ending June 30th. I'll just give you a summary of some of the highlights. Um, as Jim mentioned, the Sarnia Golters Guild took place uh, June 2nd and 3rd. The event was a huge success with close to 900 people visiting the arena over the course of two days. Um, Jamboree is booked again for next year from the Point Edward Minor. Um, the Point Edward there was an issue with the uh, Pacers game uh, that had to be rescheduled on June 8th. Uh, all affected user groups were notified and rescheduled for alternate days. Uh, a thank you to all the user groups involved for being so accommodating. Another event at the arena was the Point Edward Junior B Pacers celebrated their 40th anniversary of winning the Founders Cup on June 10th. The event was very well attended with lots of past members of the team present. Um, we had a leaky roof uh, on a Thursday night one night. Uh, Bullock Roofing has since fixed that issue. Um, the Junior B Pacers have concluded their season. Um, unfortunately, it was a very trying year for the team as they posted an 0-20 record. We would like to thank the Pacers for their continued dedication to the Point Edward Arena. Uh, all regular user groups of the arena have been emailed uh, regarding the requirement of having liability insurance and providing the village a point ever with a certificate of insurance. Um, so far, the feedback has been minimal. Um, Resurf Corporation has confirmed that they will be picking up the Olympian and it has been picked up. Uh, Ainsworth has confirmed August 8th as the start date for the hot water system upgrades. And Interlink is uh, supposed to get a hold of me this week to finalize an installation date of the cameras. Work management side, obviously the three employees and we're still rotating through public works. So no specific training this month. Uh, facility activity, uh, there was a total of 70 hours plus the two day full event 
for full days at special event rate. That was the Quilters Guild. Uh, Pacer season has ended. A Sarnia Minor Fundamentals program has ended too on June 27th. Interior, regular maintenance, cleaning, continue daily. Exterior, general maintenance around the building. Optimus Hall is still going strong. Uh, concession stand. Uh, Red and Co are still in there. Um, the exhaust hood and grease traps within the concession stand have been cleaned by boys in the hood cleaning services. <laughs> this is a semi-annual service. Um, all monthly inspections have been completed with no issues to report. Nothing to report on the in venue advertising. Uh, vehicle and equipment, as previously mentioned, Olympia is due for service. It is out now. Um, customer satisfaction we received a lot of complimentary comments from the organizer of the Sarnia Quilters Guild on the cleanliness, accessibility, level of service they received from the arena employees during their event. We look forward to hosting them again in a couple of years. Uh, health and safety, monthly SOPs reviewed, security, nothing to report on the capital budget. Um, Still awaiting more direction on the roofing project. I think something happened last night. Yeah. I'm not sure. I remember you reached out. Oh, I told them not to last night. Okay. Because nobody was going to be there. Okay. They're, doing a, they're doing some testing. Okay. And I told them I didn't want them on the roof with nobody there. Okay. So I hope it didn't happen. Um, obviously, the cameras would be mid July when they install them. The electric board edger has been ordered again. They got word last week that it uh, still part shortages. And the hot water system upgrades are scheduled for August 8th. Closing comments, June was another great month at the arena with the Cerny Quilter Skilled event and the Point Edward Junior B Pacers lacrosse team's 40th anniversary celebration of winning the Founders' Cups. Cerny Minor Lacrosse continued with their programming on a consistent basis. Ball hockey and inline hockey also continued at the rink as well. We have started to see an increase in ice rental inquiries for the winter. It is hoped that all regular ice grinds will be returning this fall, along with some new ones. In July, it is hoped to have a couple maintenance repair jobs completed, along with some capital project items. Cernia Minor Lacrosse will continue with their program until the end of the month. We will see ball hockey and inline hockey conclude their seasons the last week of July. On the work management side, arena workers will continue to rotate between public works and arena on a weekly basis and hopefully get to utilize some vacation time. Preliminary planning for the winter season will also begin with scheduling a date for startup and white ice painting. Ice clients will be booked and confirmed in early August. If you have any questions or concerns, glad to assist. Mary Ann? Um, I did attend the 40th anniversary to present the uh, flag. We call that the banner. The banner. Yep. Thank you. The banner and presented it to the Pacer reps up there. It was amazing turnout yeah. on that original team, actually. Yeah, I heard that there was like 90% of the team. Yeah, was there. it was a lot, of, a lot of people. That's good. Yeah, it was great. So I just want to let you know that that was part of the ceremony. Good. And then I just have a couple questions on the budget. So the the board edger has been delayed, but yes. later we're declaring it sur the old one surplus, but you'll you still operate. We, we, we have a spare. Okay. Gas powered one that we try not to use. Oh, okay. We went electric with everything. Right. But we're going to. There's actually another surplus one that was missed there, Jim, on that list, I think, with the gas one. And uh, okay, but we are keeping one, the best of it, <laughs> okay, as our backup. Okay, and then there's a couple that are actually scrapped, too. Okay, there's so should we pluralize the edgers in this when we declare them surplus? Yeah, there, there was two, yeah, that was was surplus. sorry, was thrown at the right. same time. Yeah. Both? Uh, one's gas powered, and the battery one is. Pretty much toast. It needs a new motor and but we'll just sell it for parts as, to send it. Yeah, as is. Yeah. Um, and then the roof. Um, like most things that we identify as needing replacement, they start to fail. But as soon as we do that, um, where are we at with the roof? So we have one quote in on that roof. Mm -hmm. Um, just one of the companies provided us a number. It's about twenty or twenty-five thousand more than we have in reserves for it right now. So that I, th I think we should have some direction if you want us to go ahead and get a couple more prices and get the job done this summer. Or if you want to wait until next year, um, I was going to ask, was there any problems during those heavy rains last no. week? So, I mean, it seems like the issues have been dealt with, but they could come back pretty quick. So, yeah. um, and in winter season, 
it could be worse. Like, yeah. you know, when we get the ice and you start getting roof leaks on the ice, that could cause huge yeah. problems, right? I, to the quote, Jim, I, I guess sure. the reserve number was based off the original quote we got from Imperial. The second quote that's higher included the scaffolding that's needed and they were going to put uh, industrial eaves troughs, the yeah. length of the arena on both sides to help save the flat roofs because all the water just comes off oh, okay. directly onto the flat roof. Yeah. This would probably save the life of the flat roof. That's why that quote is higher. It's it's all in the quote. Yeah. But so you're saying 25,000 more because we've only put half the amount in reserves, right? Well, I think we've got the full, we've yeah. done two years of reserves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, I mean, there's, it's approximately 25,000 more than we have in reserve. Um, and then I recall there being different um, process or repair, yeah. the installation. Is this a... There's is, actually is, two in that last quote we got from Bullock. There's actually two options. Two options. Okay. Okay. It basically looking at just replacing what's there. Okay. Like, With what's there, yeah. like the same style. And, and how long is this roof on there now lasted? Probably 40, 50 years. Yeah. I think it was, <laughs> so one, one it's, I've heard, yes. like, I've heard 78. They did it in 78. I've heard. So it's obviously a very, like, it's an acceptable practice for that type of roofing. Yeah. The material the they use. Different material. It'll be, it won't be rolled asphalt roofing. It'll be whatever this new material is they use. Oh, but better that they're they, saying. They torch it on. And okay. It's like a membrane. Gotcha. So you're you're saying you, you just mentioned two different companies. So you have two prices? Yeah, I I didn't realize we had something yeah, from Imperial I think, as yeah, well. Yeah, I sent okay both to you. And we, we actually shouldn't be saying how much if we're going out for tender. No, let's, we haven't yeah. mentioned any numbers. No. Oh, you just said over. Well, yeah. 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 That was a great we, we can um if you'd like if if you want us to move forward, then we can try and get some prices before and bring a report back to council meeting. In two weeks, and, and then if I'm we do that, I'm thinking timing might be a little yeah. issue now. <laughs> Could be because we're hoping to get it done by before the ice goes in. And yeah, like that. so I think you want all that scaffolding set up around the arena with traffic. But at the same time, if it's the first two or three weeks of September, we're uh, already, we're yeah, in there. But I mean, if if even when we open, if we're a week or two while they're cleaning up or finishing yeah. up, it wouldn't wouldn't be the end of the world. No, as far as use so but if we make the decision now couldn't they be in there in august well it depends what other job you know, they are right i yeah. don't know how far out well that, that's what said. the sooner we decide yeah the yes, sooner they the can sooner. schedule yeah okay. so from the committee we're going to make a are you going to make a recommendation well, I, if if derek could or you've got two prices if you look at sounds like they're not equal on what they bid on one's added in some extra right for good reason yep so maybe if you put it together, you know, you can decide if there's enough there to make a decision to pick one. Yeah. So I think our recommendation is that staff evaluate both quotes and then bring forth a recommendation to council uh, in two weeks okay. with a preferred vendor. Or and, we can do it. And possibly sooner. We can yeah. do it through email. Yes. Yeah. Or sooner when if we, you guys can do you that. Know, for the timing issue. Yeah. Where we, we all get the information and say yay or nay. Yeah. We can green light it through I'll yeah. Make sure you have both. Cool. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Just if we could get that decision in July, then for potentially. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather do it before the next meeting. If, if we can do yeah, it this week, me too. This week would be even better. Yeah. Because like I say once it's, it's leaked, it got through that last rainstorm, which was heavy. But the, yeah. and I say once the ice is in, you start getting water dripping on the ice. That's another issue. Yeah. Exactly. Of course, how long do you think that job would take? Maybe it doesn't take as long as I think. I don't know. I don't know. Do a whole roof work on arena. Yeah. Are they stripping off the old and putting on new? No, oh, I think they're going to go way over top. Okay. They put another core, they call it, and then they torch on. There's two ways. You can torch it on or you can mechanically fasten it. Right. And there's, so they're leaning towards torching. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Torch, you know. <laughs> and then um, when the hot water system, they're good yeah, to they're go. On, and, they're all on. And board. you're happy with where it ended up? Because I know there were some yep. different yeah, changes. Is it? Yeah. Okay. There's going to be a couple of different systems, like two separate systems. Three, okay. one for the pit, one for the Olympia, one for domestic. Oh, good. Okay. Because right now we all all the water is the same temperature in there, which is difficult. Probably too hot. <laughs> yeah. So the domestic could be turned down. The Olympia you want to be the hottest, and then the pit. 
Okay. And it'll, yeah, the pit, if it's hotter, it might melt, it'll melt it. It'll be faster. More efficient. Yeah. That, that's all done. That's going to start in uh, oh, August. Starting. Yeah. Yeah. Starting. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I have no other questions. Marianne? No, I think. Thank you, Derek. Yep. So we'll receive and file that. Actually, this is our first committee meeting since Canada Day. I think I spoke at the last council meeting just to say thanks for all the work that was done by departments to get the park ready and get through all those, you know, all the setup and that that night. I've only had good rec good feedback. I haven't had any complaints. No, me neither. At all. Um, which is amazing. Sure. All right, Steve, we'll do your monthly report. Thank you. And um, Erickson is in on his time off. Do we want to let him go? Um, we have the surplus equipment coming up. That's about it. Yeah, if you want to. It's up to you. Okay. 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 Um, so no outstanding issues to report back on. Uh, work management, still got the four public work staff, four summer students, and the arena cycling in and out. We also had our summer student from Northern finish, and we have our community living students start. Employee training, nothing to report. Uh, operations building, um, in here says no issues, but I wanted to point out that we did install a cabinet around the electrical panel that was requested by uh, Chief McKenzie by our safety shower, so that's done. So we're good there. Exterior, no issues. Inspections, fire extinguisher checks. Um, road, sidewalks, parking lot. We did the village-wide street sweeping. Uh, we did a cleanup of Christina Street overpass. Uh, I had the kids power wash the Veterans Park fence to get a lot of the rust scale off. Oh, nice. I think we, we're going to try and paint it. I don't know. It's like I've mentioned in the past, it's really rough, but I think that's the decision where we decided to maybe even eliminate it eventually because I don't know if it needs to have a fence around it. But I think we'll cross that bridge when the land transfer thing happens. I think it's probably the better time to deal with that. Uh, we also cleaned up the walkway on Light Street in front of the golf course. And also not in here, but I wanted to make note that we did add the flower basket signs to downtown. Public parks and spaces, tree trimming started when we can. Uh, we added some more garbage cans to Waterfront Park. We, we put up a chip truck only parking sign for the chip truck guys. Uh, the Canada banners, we received them and installed them downtown prior to the event. They looked really nice, I thought. We got some good people really on those too. Um, we put up the uh, tiny library for the uh, Rotary, I believe, yep. mm -hmm. and I think we got really good feedback on that too. Um, Shelley's Canada Day celebration went well. We rototilled all the playgrounds prior to so mm -hmm. that they were nice and soft. Um, again, not on here, but I'm going to add. Uh, I had all new lighting installed in the bathrooms at the splash pad because a lot of them were problematic. So I've had LED lighting put in there instead of the old fluorescence. Nice. nice. And I had to have another hand dryer installed there, unfortunately, but we had another one fail. We had one last year fail and then we had one fail. But that's part of our, we need to do that for uh, public health. It seems weird to worry about drying your hands when you're at the splash pad. <laughs> yeah. <but> yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's definitely better than uh, paper towels. Yes, change yeah. Change table. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I won't tell you the story about that one. <laughs> Somebody pooped in the garbage can. Oh, oh God. God. No. Oh, God. So I did tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> you can help yourself. I could. I have to tell you. Uh, inspections, audits, reports, several small fixes for small mechanical things, all small in nature, uh, monthly playground inspections, and our bi weekly road reports. Uh, vehicles, we had uh, minor truck damage versus a post Mike has here. Um, we had J&J &J Auto Body. We've got it back and it looks perfect. They did a great job. Uh, we had a new battery for the operations truck and the new plow was capital as well as vehicles, I guess, but we did get our plow, two-way plow. And oh, yes. Yeah, so Good. we've got the shop now and we taken the truck in to Mount Forest to have them do the hydraulics so that we have a controller for it. 
And we actually picked that up last Friday. I know that was July, but it is back at the shop. So we're going to probably this week put it on and see how it works. Practice a bit. So, yeah. This is the one that will allow you to the turn corners better yeah. and just be able to. Yeah, it's a two-way plow. Yeah. So we can move it this way or that way rather than this fixed wing plow yeah. that we have now. It's. I think I'm really looking forward to trying it. I think it's really going to help us with corners, even the arena parking lot. Yeah. Now we've got two big plows that we can go in if obviously if we're not on the road yeah on, but we have that one doing the back and the yeah. motor doing the front we can i think this is going to make us quite a bit more efficient and yeah. and what have we done with the old plow do we do we nothing. keep it we're going to keep it as a spare for okay. now yeah i don't want to scrap it yet yeah i'll probably i'm going to leave it the way it sits now um but eventually what i'll probably do is take all the uh the scraper blades off of it when we do decide to completely retire yeah. because they can still go on the old one right so that'll give us like a second set of um, of blades. Right. The other one starts to fail and we have problems with it. We'll have it extra. So yes. Nice thing is those are interchangeable for yeah. now, those yep. things. So we're not losing money on those. Yep. Thank you. Um, other motorized equipment and tools. One Kubota was not starting, the new one. So I called Self Point. Um, it ended up being a couple of sensors and that was all warranty, which was good. So they, they've taken care of that. Mm -hmm. Uh, health and safety, no issues to report. Security, nothing to report. Capital budget, again, we did do that. Uh, the the plow is here, so so. Um, community feedback: uh, We donated two of our hanging baskets from our shop to the Bridgeview uh, grad ceremony, and Liz Page and the grad committee really appreciated it. It looked very nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we got some nice uh, feedback for that. Um, Looking ahead, with warmer weather approaching, um, we were paying a lot more attention to the, the weather and the heat stretch issues. Um, I have uh, called the kids in last week. Well, I called everybody in last week a couple of times because it was a little too hot. So just taking extra breaks. Um, I, have, I haven't I have found the weather station at the shop is very reliable. So I've been using the weather network because I find it's much more reliable right now. Sure. Just because you put it on a brick wall and it'll say it's 45 degrees. And I know it's not 45. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been using a more reliable source for that for now. Maybe we'll, that can be another discussion at another time. And then, yeah, and then community living student and coach started on the 29th of June and they're really good. Um, very hard worker. Yeah. Um, okay. Mike's comment. I was going to say, I'll read this. <laughs> And just know that my cop co wrote this. I think it's fairly obvious. <laughs> the Canada Day, Canada Day event at Waterfront Park brought many smiling faces to many children who were hopped up on cupcakes and pizza. <laughs> Those present were dazzled by the circus like atmosphere, which included <laughs> stilt walkers, bouncy castles, and a mid midway style games area. A large check was presented, faces were painted and the townsfolk swayed to the crooning of live music. <laughs> After a couple of years without such a grand celebration, the village employees should be proud of the outcome. Way to go, Public Works. <laughs> also, the final day of co-op student Nate text short read. A tip of the hat to you. Because oh, he, he would he'd come in a cowboy hat and his steel toe cowboy boots. <laughs> oh, Mike, so, thank you. Yeah. Any questions or comments? That's good. Well, I just wanted to, I sent Steve a quick note, but the, the other day when we had that heavy rain, it was nice for me to see the students out there yeah. just going along and looking for flooding on the road and would, would clean the sewer. Yeah. I did venture into, into another city and I was going through huge puddles and I know they can't obviously get around like yeah. we can, but um, I know in years previous, we would get complaints at the office about flooding and it was nice this year. We I there is one on Helena Street that I found out about that I didn't know about. I guess Inram knew about it, and uh, I'll have to look into it. One on Helena Street that doesn't flow. For some oh, okay. Reason. So is it towards Bridgeview? No, it's at Helena and um, I think right at Helena and Arthur there, just right Oh, there okay. Yeah, you know that little house that just sold that beside the. Um, yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right near there. Okay. So I'm gonna. I talked yep. to Jay. And I think we're gonna do maybe. Bev's dad built that house. Stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna like camera and look into it anyway. I talked with Jay about it. And, uh, his staff knew about it too, so I was just a little surprised that Imram hadn't. Yeah. Move this forward because that was the first I've heard about it. But we'll look into it. No, it's on your list. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was nice. I turned onto Front Street and they were 
shoveling it, it yep. up and, and you yep. can see the water just immediately oh, yeah. disappears. It's actually quite gratifying when you do that. It's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Clear it and it all disappears. Yeah, amazing how it works. Yeah, yeah. 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 no, it was good. It was good, yeah, proactive. It's good. Well, good way to use yeah. the students too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. on a rain day. Yeah, yeah, it was perfect for that. Yeah. They weren't like smiling ear to ear. No, but, no. Yeah, but, you but, know, I, like I didn't send them out in the heart of the downpour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was after it had let up and let them wait, wait it out. I get all raincoats. And it wasn't. Yeah, I saw that. They were nice. It wasn't lightning. No, no, and it wasn't. That was the beauty of it. It was yeah. just those heavy things, yeah. so it wasn't a danger, like you know. Yeah. And, and I told them if it was to the point where you couldn't see over the windshield, just come back. Remind yeah. them of their days when they were children and they were out there in their boots. Yeah, Playing, yeah. I, yeah. I do it. I go out there in my croc down the road from my house <laughs> and figure it myself because it's fun. But, <laughs> okay. Um, Anything else then? We're good. No, yeah. Good. And like as Mary Ann, we said the Canada Day support yeah, was uh, outstanding, yeah. and Stephen managing the pizza boxes, and I know there was days of prep work getting the park ready and yeah. pretty and trimmed and we've and got grass cut. coming up this weekend so we're going to be not quite to the same degree but we're going to get the power panel down there for care yeah. and i'm going to be there on wednesday and get it all figure out what she needs and with the um the army display do we have extra staff on or do we need anything extra it's going to be really busy and crowded down there with the all that are we are we covered for the whole weekend we have two well, we have students, students on the two of them yeah yeah okay. there's always two students okay on the yes they should be able to handle it. Yeah. Because that's going to be, from what I read, is that going to be in the field at the Bridge Bridge Blue Water Bridge Park? Yeah, like on the south. It's on Garvin's on, land. Can't tack me property. It is. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. Is it? I thought it was in the Blue Water Bridge Park. No, because they, they, they haven't watched that well enough to put anything in it. Because, yeah. because they've been cutting the grass the last two days. Well, yeah. they did. Well, have they? did they finally? Yeah. I, I don't to think me, that's a fire the bridge would allow them on that property. No, I yeah. believe it's it's Garvin's property because oh, exactly. uh, Tanya Lee, uh, so. Tanya Lee is one of the organizers. Okay, okay. And then the breakfast part is up farther. Right. Okay. Towards the river. Yeah. So yeah, and that's like that's not our property to take care of. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Like, as far as garbage or like that, yeah. yeah. Like, okay. We'll take care of Carolyn's event. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, they're kind of on their own on that um, property. They're very self sufficient. Yeah. They need it, but I yeah. Mean, they, they are kind of their own yeah. entity over there. Yeah. So. The other thing that they're um, shuttling the people that are attending the breakfast, not the pancake breakfast, the other breakfast, yeah. they're shuttling them from the casino parking lot to the venue where the tent is. Yeah. The thing that surprised me was originally they said they were going to use the far parking lot, you know, the one that they lease. The surplus one, yeah. They can't yeah. use it. There's some. Um, I can't actually own that. Either. Well, there's some concerns, I, concerns over structure. I, I would just, I mean, I don't know what it is. It's not our land, but they're not, that's why it's fenced off. Oh, okay. So, so I thought it was fenced off because they didn't want to maintain it. I, and by closing it, you 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 don't have to maintain. Yeah. She told me it was, there's issues with oh, it. So oh. they're going to use the regular parking lot and move people over. And I did notice that for the um, age-friendly expo, they used the regular parking lot. not. The, and that's probably why. Yeah, and I, yeah. It surprised me to hear that because I don't know what would be in the underground, but. Could have been, could have been. Flooded. Might hear about it at some point. Some erosion, worries about yeah. sinkholes. Yeah. Okay. All right, Steve. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll receive and file that. Next item in the agenda is declaration of surplus equipment, and this is a more of a formality, I assume. Yeah, pretty much. So, in this is the set of nets, uh, a pickup truck that's seen better days, and the power edger. So. Right, so, and so there's a gas powered one and I and then is there a third gas or third one that's even more? Well, we have two that we're gonna scrap. Okay. There, so there is one that's just one of those Okay. So there's 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 three altogether. Two we're declaring surplus, and we're buying a new one, and you're keeping one as a backup, right? New one, backup, surplus and a battery one, gas powered one, scrapping two old gas. So we'll just change this to an S and whatever you yeah, yeah. declare surplus is surplus. And the other two wouldn't be the two that were scrapping wouldn't be they're not useful. Right. right. We just take them for scrap metal type yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll what's the recommendation that the list equipment be declared surplus and dispose of as prevailing policy? Okay. Uh, the request next one is a request by a resident on Maud Street. To improve the safety netting at the uh, Monk. sports court, Monk. Yeah, did I say Monk? Monk Street. Thank you. It's. Uh, I think it says Monk, but it 
I might have said Maud. It yeah. came from Monk Street. Yeah, I got to stop reading this stuff. Yeah, it does say Maud Street. <laughs> so it is Monk Street. Thank you. And then I think in the note it says the cost to how high is yeah, are they going to go? It was yeah. as high as the tent. Okay. And would that be just across the back, or would it yeah, be like a full just so the end zone? The playground from the one end and protect the like Mr. McKenzie's yard and further. But there's nothing coming up the side, even a foot or two, to make it more like a. Well, I mean, we could. I mean, I didn't have that quoted. Yeah. Because the nets are at either end. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, if yeah. for as wide as that is, if we were able to do the number that, yeah, be surprised. We did yeah. install new signs to the mailbox allowed. Some people put them down, so I had two new ones. Okay. Like that okay. So the um, yeah. So if somebody took a wide shot. It might, but the odds of that are. I mean, we haven't had any complaints from them. No, exactly. Yeah. And they have a wood fence there too. Yeah. So. Yeah. At least one foot ten feet all the way around. I would say the quote that I got would probably do at least double it. Yeah, I don't think we want to go that oh. far. No, but I. Just, I didn't know if we needed like a foot coming up, but if that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. And then, so you're saying, Jim, the three thousand dollar quote will fit within the budget amount we have from McCray. Okay. That's right. Yeah. So. It's good. We're using more for McCray as it is, so I think if we lump the two together, that maybe we could. Yeah, and he'll do it all at the same time. Is that what he'll do? I mean, well, I haven't given him a go ahead. I gave him a go ahead on McCray, but I have not got a go. I gave okay. him a go ahead on Sport Court. Yeah. 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 But I'm yeah. assuming like if I, I he may even do that sooner if I give him a go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Jen has a question. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, so the recommendation that we go ahead with this, are you? Yeah, yeah. I'm so, so moved. Well, legally or technically, it has to go to council for final yeah. approval, but. If you guys let me know, and I'll just let Jeff know that we're good yeah. to go. And you can even tell them it's been approved in principle, and you'll know in two weeks for sure, but I can't imagine. Oh, we could. We could talk to two others before the end of the day that are coming in for their meeting. Oh yeah. If you want it, if you yeah, need it quicker. Yeah. Like Paul and Tim are coming in, so we can run it by them if they approve, then we've got the majority. majority. Yeah. I didn't think about it. Yeah, that's a good way. Yeah. Okay, so that'll move forward. The monthly financial statements for arena and public works. Any before oh, we go into that, like I under new business. Oh yeah. Right. Yep, Just to be fault. equal, I got some praise for the works department that I was going to pass on. Um, I'm on the board of Blue Water Health, and there's a gentleman that works for Waste Depot. Uh, he's on contract doing some work for them, and he said that uh, they're so uh, appreciative of the Point Edward staff and the way that they interact with the attendants okay. um, at Waste Depot, at Waste Depot yeah. that he wanted me to know that, and he wanted to pass that on. And he said, uh, very different than some of their other customers. Yeah. Oh, good. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, he said they they enjoy when you visit. <laughs> the thing, <laughs> and then Jim, you had another thing in new business. Yeah, so we've had a few complaints in the last couple of weeks about the cleanliness of the washrooms down by the chip truck and waterfront park. Um, we're having them clean twice a day, just well, once a day. They get cleaned at night and they walk them. There was a period of time where we were doing twice. Yeah, during COVID. Uh, yeah, it was during COVID. Not we not three thousand dollars. Yeah. To have a so if that's the case, we have to allow that. I didn't think we scaled it. I thought we left it. I didn't it realize we did either, but that would explain the. We've had two, at least two or I three in the last couple of weeks. So I don't know how we're supposed to rectify this problem mm -hmm. three days after the call. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If they yeah. have to call the on call yeah. number and I can call Jeff and tell him to go clean it. But if they're going to just email complaints, then there is nothing you can do. Yeah, you can't react to it. Yeah. Right? yeah if somebody trashes it. Any problems with one day a week cleaning other than Canada Day, as far as I know? The lady that wouldn't let her dog in there. Well, she didn't take her dog in there anyway. But uh, um, is it maybe just up it on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Possibly. Like I, 
I was under the impression we were already doing it twice. And I was wondering if we're adding a third one on weekends. But I thought, well, when do you do it? I mean, yeah, you could clean them at lunch. night. I yeah. thought they were being closed right after or cleaned right after lunch a second time. But I'm well, not sure where there. you'd put a third one. No, here. on the weekends, do the students check them? No. Well, so as part of their we patrol? open them in the morning. Right. And they, midday, they don't go in and have a quick look. Male, female, so go into one. Yeah, yeah. Right? Sometimes I have two female students working, two males. They can't go into the other washrooms, right? So we rely on the public. Yeah. If they don't call the on call number to complain, there's there's nothing we can do. Yeah, yeah. If they want to complain on the internet or on whatever, that's great. But that's something that has to happen at the time for us to rectify the problem. And there are signs in the washroom with the on call number there. Yeah, because a lot of public washrooms have is this washroom needs yes, attention, yes. call this number yes. yeah. and choose option yeah. two. That's the problem, though. Yeah, you could just have calls. Yeah. Yeah. And it depends what the the scale of the problem. There's a little bit of water. And everybody has their different like these are public washrooms. People forget like yeah, high high use Canada public washrooms. You had potentially five thousand people go through that. Yeah. Room. Yeah. It's yeah. not going to be that. No. Do you think it's better to direct it to the office a call? Well. Then to that's, the on call call that's the on call number. That's the on call. Sorry. Yeah. I was just trying to think. Then you could discern through the calls like what needs attention and what doesn't. Yeah. And I mean, considering where we are this summer, if one of my people brings up the knowledge, they were doing pretty good. I think it's more than two. And the only thing is, some people yeah. would just see it, be disgusted with it, and not bother to complain, right? Yeah. Thinking that's the way Point Edward treats their washrooms. I'll just. Well, it's not that we treat them. It's no. Yeah. Not us treating them. Yeah. It's the public. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's yeah. Stuff yeah. Is, yeah. Right? People think it's our fault. Well, it's not. It's yeah. The person that was in there before you. Or, yeah. or, or, or what or people do. Do you think you want to do that? It's the same as the person. Somebody took the crap yeah. in the yeah. garbage can in the. Yeah. Like, so it does it. Yeah. So, just as another example, so there's some things that were reported this week on Facebook about somebody going door to door asking for money. First of all, that's against our bylaw, but putting it on Facebook and it's two days later, if that happens, in a previous example, they called, the OPP went, got the person on the street and told them to leave the village. So you can't report something on Facebook and think that it's going to be dealt with. Or email it, it was supposed to be it. for a charity. UNICEF, but UNICEF. it's my understanding our bylaw permits door-to-door -door solicitation for charities and religious groups, does it not? No. I don't think so. No. I, thought no. it, I thought there was the exemption for that. No. Because the one that you know, I, directed told, away was a similar. Because, yeah, because I was told we can't like stop religious or charitable groups from doing that, but like from the rights thing. Yeah. Like we can uh -huh. stop door-to-door -door salespeople. Yeah. I, I read it a long time ago, and I thought that's what it said, that okay. it oh, only applied to like see. businesses yeah. that were trying to sell you something at the door. Okay. Yep. Anything else under new business then? No. Nothing for you, Jim? No. Okay. I had something. Oh, well. I guess it'll come up in September. Okay. The arena, the financial statements. Any questions on those? I don't have any questions. Okay. Our next meeting date is. Tuesday, September 12th, 10 a.m. in these chambers. It's always the plan. Yeah. Barring anything. Yeah, any an emergencies or, or call of the chair. Yeah. I might just call one then. Just in case yeah. you miss 